Here's something. Um, I am only uh, armed with English. English is all I've got. I will try and speak clearly, knowing that English is your second, third, fourth, fifth, or sixth language. I admire that. Uh, just like my last president, all I've got is English. <laughs> I think I would do a better job with it than he did. So, uh, but there's, a, there's a, no good excuse that I have for why I have not been here to Hungary to do a talking show sooner than this. Uh, the last time I was in Hungary for a music show was many years ago. It is not that I get offers for Hungary and say no. Uh, I get no offers to come to Hungary um, for s these talking shows. The first time I did this one, I went, yes, 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 yes. So here I am. Uh, many years ago, uh, I had a, a concert uh, agent in Europe. His, he was German. He was going out with a Hungarian gal who he later married. And so I would find myself in Hungary all the time because he would book the tours just right so he could see his girlfriend <laughs> in Hungary. And so me and my, my bandmates, we became very, very familiar with coming to Hungary every year. And one of the first shows we ever did in Europe was in Budapest. And we played with the Galloping Corners. And I wish I could say, I wish I could pronounce their name. Uh, the real, you know, guy, I just, I, my mouth can't do it. Um, I apologize. But I must say, uh, they might be a little bit too old of a reference for some of you young whippersnappers. For those of you who remember the Galloping Corners, uh, their music was beyond description in that they were amazing, but I can't tell you what kind of music it was. It was like, it was like Sun Ra meets rock and roll. It was different every night, and quite often they would tour with us. We would play all over Europe with them. And they uh, were tremendous, and every night it would somehow change. And then uh, one time I had a night off, and so Dietmar looked for, had this great idea, we'll go to Budapest, I'm like, I bet we will, you know, because that's where <laughs> the girlfriend, later wife was, and we had a, this great night off, we came here, which is no bad place to be, and the, uh, the Galloping Corners were doing one of their shows here, where they could have the full stage show, where everyone comes out in the big outfits, and it was one of the best shows I have ever seen in my life. And so I don't know if you can find their records, if their records are still in existence anywhere, or if the band still plays, but if any of you know any of the Galloping Corners, please, please, please tell them that I said hello and warm greetings from their old pal from the last century, <laughs> yours truly, Henry. So there's that. Here's this. Um, I haven't been here for a while, so I'm going to catch you up on things. Uh, as you know in my country, uh, not that you pay that much attention to America more than you have to, uh, America is a very interesting spectator sport in that you watch America with certain degrees of horror. You look at America and you wonder what's in the water. You look at America and wonder why were they so oxygen deprived at birth. You look at America and wonder why did they start wars with countries who didn't start wars with them. How come their president can't speak good? How come they don't seem to want to go anywhere or know anything? What's their problem with health care? Why don't they like education? What's the matter? Well, um, in the defense of America, we're not all like that. Uh, unfortunately, it's some of these people that get the big headlines. They're the ones who uh, have the big face in America. Many of you have come to visit my wonderful America. Full of very nice people, really nice people, very generous, very kind people. And during the eight years of George W. Bush, which no doubt you were aware of, no doubt you judged America fairly harshly for a fake and illegal war in Iraq, for foreign policy that didn't seem to want to meet many leaders of other worlds, of other countries, to sit down and negotiate about things. I don't talk to terrorists. Well, they're not all terrorists, Mr. Bush. I don't talk to people who can talk. 